Hi, my name's Mark Parsons. I work for Butterfly Conservation. I'm their head of moth conservation. Today I'm looking for a, a very small moth, which is called Richardson's Case Bearer. The Latin name is Eudacia Richardsoni. Now, it's a very special moth in that it's only found in two sites in the whole of the UK. That is here on Portland, and the other site is near Swanage, so both sites are within Dorset. Two or three years ago, it was thought to be a UK endemic. That is, it was only, only found in the world in the UK. It has subsequently been found in Switzerland and, I believe, Croatia, but it's still a very, very special moth. Uh, this moth is quite unusual uh, in that it, it's associated with limestone scree habitat. Uh, now, these habitats are open by their very nature, so it's a fairly dynamic habitat. You get rock falls, and in those rock falls, the moth lays its eggs and it feeds from within a case very slowly, perhaps up to two years, and it is found by turning stones over, as you can see a couple of colleagues here. It's found perhaps one or two layers down in amongst the rock, where we believe the caterpillars feed on the algae found on the underside of the rocks. It's very difficult to spot these caterpillars feeding because they don't seem to move very, very much. Quite often these cases are found very close to spider's webs and what we think is happening, you quite often find bits of dead insects in spider's web and we think they are supplementing their diet by feeding on those remains. Well, one of the main threats to this sort of habitat in Poland is the spread of Cotoniastra and other invasive shrubs. Now as you get that, the Cotoniastra creeps over this open rocky scree, making it shadier and more damp, but the purpose of that as leaves fall, the humus layer forms within there. So the moth cannot cope with those sort of habitats. It needs, it needs more, much more free draining habitats than those found un underneath the, the Cotoniaster, or uh, underneath the where the Cotoniaster is invaded. So we're, we're very pleased to be working with the Dorset Wildlife Trust and the, the Portland Peril Project with this moth in mind.